What's going on people, Imps Ting Podcast Show, with your boy Cornell in the house, back again with another video and today I'm doing a video about Lakewood City Football Club. Before we get into the video, smash a like on my YouTube video, leave a comment down below and tell me your thoughts about what I'm about to talk about as well. Thank you to the 327 subscribers who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you very much. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So us Lakewood City Basically, haven't bought anyone just yet, but we have made six signings, of course, 100%. But, obviously, there's been a lot going down in the Lincoln City Football Club football camp. Obviously, yesterday, we played against Grimsby Town in a pre-season game, and our final pre-season game will be against a championship side against Blackburn Rovers, obviously. For me, personally, a draw... I didn't obviously see it as a pre-season friendly. I more see it as I more saw it as a real game, to be fair. And if there were anybody, any players that really stood out from the preseason for our Sims, I'd have to probably say TJ Omar, definitely um Charles Van Arm for me, and Max Sanders. You know, Max Sanders has proven that he can be a quality star player. TJ Olmer getting back to how he was two, three seasons ago when, when he was under Michael Apperton during our playoff era, our playoff semi-final, four slash final era under the Michael Apperton, of course. But Van Arm has been a wicked addition. Forward slash Charles Batman Tink Van Arm. How brilliant he has been. And he's proven him to be a quality, quality player and will be extremely key for us this coming season come next Saturday against Exeter City in League One. And then also also in Imps News as well, Chris Maguire is set to leave Lincoln City Football Club. Despite coming under Michael Apperton and playing under Michael Apperton during his Oxford United days, obviously um, he doesn't fit into Mark Kennedy's plans. Obviously Mark Kennedy wants to bring his own philosophy to Lincoln City. So obviously... Is it a good move? Is it is it brilliant to see Chris Maguire leave? Obviously, listen. Two best performances from Chris Maguire. Obviously, the Sunderland game, but against Charlton, he was brilliant. Um, after setting up the first, after setting up the equalising goal last season, but obviously for me, his performances hasn't hasn't improved as much. And if another club does come knocking for Chris Maguire, and he does leave, which he is going to leave. I hope it's for the best, obviously, but I still wish him the best with his career. Um, and then Regan Paul has been linked to go to either Ipswich, Southampton or Blackpool. I mean, if we lose Regan Paul, I'll be disappointed. I mean, it's going to be interesting a couple of weeks this summer, especially with still the transfer window open. We don't know who's going to go, but obviously Regan Paul is linked to go to another club. Um, he's been our brilliant, our key brilliant defender playing at the back and his link-up play with O'Connor um, is going to be something. But I, I'm sure the club will convince him to stay and they will kind of find ways to make sure, you know, he doesn't leave. But if he does leave, he'll leave with his head held high. But yeah, I'll be absolutely gutted because he's one of my favourite players, obviously, for me. Um, but obviously, um, not much to be fair, but for me personally... That's the news that have obviously come out. Obviously, I still think we need a defensive midfielder. I still think we need a winger. Definitely a proven goal scorer just to help Hopper and the likes of Kendall and House. Although we've got enough depth, but I think we need a bit. We need more. But whatever happens, I'll keep you up to date with what's going on. Smash a like on my YouTube video. Thank you for watching the Imps Team Podcast Show. Up the Imps are back again.